Hello, Tampa J and Chris. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and congratulations. Oh, I just loved watching that video, Jay, of you proposing to Chris. That was outstanding. You know, I'm an old guy, and I, I like watching videos on YouTube. There's, there's a few that I like. You guys have felt like friends for a while. So anyway, um, I have a candy cane. You know, Christmas isn't over till the candy canes are gone. Just thought I'd tell you that. Anyway, I'm here to tell you that I did a painting. I'm an artist. I did a painting of the two of you um, taken from a screenshot of the moment you guys got engaged at Bach Tower, at the Bach Tower Gardens. Is that what it's called? Bach Tower Gardens? Yeah. I've been there with Robin. Let me show you Robin. There she is. That's Robin. And, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, Robin and I have a, a little YouTube channel also. Ours is called The World Spins Fine on Her Own. And then there's this channel that I do for the art. Um, eh, we're nowhere near the audience that you guys have. Um, but anyway, I've been following you guys. I don't like the word follow because I'm not really a follower, nor am I a leader. I'm just me, but I guess in social media, when you pay attention to somebody online, you it's considered following. So anyway, what I want to do is this is the picture I did of you guys. How you like that, huh? You like it? I hope you like it seriously, and I hope you don't mind that I did that. Um, and I'm, I'll make it available so you can download it, and then it's a digital picture. I did it on my iPad um, using the Procreate app. And, uh, you know, I painted it literally, literally digitally, literally digitally painted. In other words, I didn't manipulate a photograph. Um, and I'll show you how I did that in a time lapse. In fact, let's just do that right now. All right. So that's the painting and, um, the, the Procreate app, um, makes, um, a time lapse video of the artwork so that's what you're looking at here so first i sketched you guys well first i looked for a good shot I, I got a screenshot off of your your video and i zoomed in on the the, the shot you see here <clears throat> um and and then of course i had to sketch it i don't always sketch things in but when i'm trying to capture a likeness in, in the case of you guys i wanted to make sure i got you guys looking as close to you as possible and I, again I, uh, I i apologize if if i've stepped over the line in some way as a fan um but i just wanted to give you a little gift and so this is it um and it is on my website for free you just need to download the, the file and then you can take it to walgreens or or if you've got a printer you can print it or maybe you don't want to do anything with it um as you see right now, <laughs> the process of laying down the paint, it's kind of a creepy looking thing, isn't it? Whoa, I hadn't seen this before. This is the first time I'm watching it. It does look creepy. Uh, but trust me, all I'm really doing here is trying to figure out where the darks and the lights go. And then once I have that kind of established in my brain, then I can go back and, and fine tune the colors. Um, you guys were in the shade and you had some sun hitting you, so that made it kind of nice. You, um, it's an easy, easier. It's easier when there's sunlight hitting a subject, and then there's shadows. So, uh, for anybody else who might be watching this video, um, this is done on Procreate, which is an app that's very super affordable. I even have it on my phone, although I don't have a stylus for my phone. On the iPad, which is where I did this, I have a, an Apple Pencil, so that's the stylus I use. And uh, for this particular painting, by the way, I'm using the dry brush and the turpentine brush. And I know that the word turpentine brush doesn't make sense in the real world, but in the digital world, at least with Procreate, it simply means it's going to look like oil paint. There is an oil brush also that they allow you to have, but um, 
I absolutely prefer the turpentine brush. It looks more like oil to me than the oil brush. Does that make sense? So this was one of the sweetest moments you could ever have expected. Um, it was very sweet, Jay, when you first were so nervous asking Chris to be your girlfriend. Robin and I were watching, and, and we thought for sure you were going to ask her to marry you on that video. Um, and then when you didn't, we were yelling at the TV. We were seeing, because we watch you on TV, by the way. We don't have you on a computer. We, <laughs> we have, a, it's gigantic. It's huge. It's, it's, it's like you wouldn't believe. Well, you, you might have a TV like that yourself, I guess. But anyway, so there you are, and you're like TV personalities to us. And we're yelling at the TV, oh my gosh, you should have asked her to marry you. But then we thought about it. Maybe you guys haven't even known each other that long. Um so I've known you guys from the videos and you guys I guess got to know each other from the videos, right? I don't I don't really know. And and, and by the way, Jay, I wanted to tell you that um when you went to Indiana and you went to the cemetery um and I can't remember where it was, but there was a scene that you shot with your camera and I used it as a uh, a reference photo for a landscape painting that I did and let me show that to you right here just break away from this for a moment there it is okay yeah that was uh and you had this sweet story about having put the fence up with your father uh, I just I'm just so touched by this, so many things about you guys that just strike me as genuine as authentic as real just and maybe that's what people really 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 want to see in the 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 people that we watch on screens whether it's a, a fictional movie or a, or a talk show uh, robin and i did by the way a radio talk show for 36 years and uh we don't do it anymore we, we retired this month it'll be three years that we retired um we did not have a big show we did not have a mainstream anything we were small time however that small time had its audience and that audience was here in central florida mostly ocala and um it was kind of cool to do it we thought we'd never miss it when we decided to retire but we sort of did a little bit we didn't miss like the political arguing that happens on a talk show um because we weren't political people anyway but we did miss the the fun of having a little show so that's why we created a, a youtube channel uh, that i mentioned earlier I, I don't want to appear that i'm trying to promote anything here uh, this is just my way of saying hi and and to congratulate you guys and to give you a little gift of art i do art if you look at my site you'll see i do art all the time and uh i don't always get screenshots from from youtubers although i have a few i have um Oh, let me show you one I did of a of a dog named Hudson. Here it is. Yeah, that's Hudson. And uh, Hudson is a beautiful dog, and he's on a, a, a YouTuber's um, channel. And they uh, they are called uh, James and Carla. They live in New York in the Lower East Side, and and they have a place down in Miami too. And I think I'm pretty sure that I've heard them say that they um, adopted Hudson, the dog right like a day before he was going to be put down so they rescued him and uh so they've had him ever since and i think they say he's 10 years old i think um but oh my gosh it's just so fun to watch them and hudson so i did this painting for them kind of as a gift kind of in the same way i'm doing this one of the two of you um so anyway just a plug for james and carl not a plug really i'm just telling you about them they're just really sweet people. Robin and I didn't get to meet them yet. We went up to New York. I'm originally from New York. Robin's son lives just outside the city. So we were there visiting Robin's son. We had done an art show in New Jersey. And uh, we were going to go over to uh, the, to New York City, to, to Manhattan, and uh, see if we could knock on James and Carla's door. We don't really know where their door is, but we were going to, I guess, write them through Facebook or something. And... Uh, but they were down here. They were in Florida at that, at that time, so it was weird. All right, back to this. So I love 
the pose that you guys have right here. I love this. I love this pose. I mean, this pose says everything. This pose says everything. There's nothing else I need to say. Jay, you look like you are protecting Chris with those beautiful, strong arms. And then in the other hand, you're uh, holding um, the box with the rings in it, I, I guess. I'm trying to remember what happened there. But I just love the fact that this has been such a genuine love story. Chris, when you, for whatever reason, decided to move back to Pennsylvania, you see, we follow you. We do follow you. <laughs> but I said, oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't go to Pennsylvania. What are you doing? They only have chocolate. What else do they have up there besides chocolate? No, you know what they have in Philadelphia? They have a place called Liberty Bellows. Yes, they have a channel too. Liberty Bellows sells accordions. Uh-huh. Now, that's what I play. I play the accordion. Robin and I, we play uh, in Ocala. We play on the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, no, the, fir the first Friday of each month, we go out and we just play. It's just fun. We, we're not performers in, in that sense. We're just having fun. But anyway, yeah, there's a place in Philadelphia where they sell accordions, and I've always wanted to go there and bring one home. Okay, so this little uh, animated, not animated, what do you call this, time-lapse video is almost over. Um, let me tell you, thank you, first of all, for the, the two of you. You have been both so genuine. You have a way of allowing us into your world um, and to see some amazing things. Um, you were in Ocala for the Spooktacular or something like that? Spookala something. Um, so we didn't get to see you, but at the horse place, the equestrian center. Uh, maybe one day. I mean, we're not that far away. We're on, only in Ocala. Um, but anyway, so congratulations. I hope you don't mind that I did this painting. Um, I hope you like it. And if you do like it, it, you can go to my website. I'll put it up right now. It's my name, LarryWhitler.com. And when you find it, I, I, I will have it set so that all you have to do is download it. And it should be the full 300 DPI file. Um, and you can take that, like I say, to uh, Walgreens or to uh, Office Depot or wherever, they, wherever there's a printer. We, Robin and I, took a couple of them that, that I've done to Walgreens and put them on canvas. They look really nice. My son works for uh, a place called Fracture, Fracture or Fractured with a D, up in Gainesville. And they, um, they print photos and, and things, you know, digital art, whatever, onto glass. And I got one of them, too, but that was a, a landscape of Payne's Prairie. Uh, okay. Well, hey, happy new year to you guys. Congratulations. Um, you know, do you need advice from an old man regarding relationships? Just take it one day at a time. I think you know that already. You're both very smart. You're both very wise. You're both very stable. And, uh, and, uh, Robin and I love watching both of you. Maybe one day we'll get to meet you guys. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to tell you. When you went to... Um, Wildwood to the location in Wildwood where they filmed the diner scene from Jeepers Creepers um, Robin and I are actually in that scene we were there for three days when they filmed that thing Robin used to be with the uh, film commission the film commission of Florida I can't remember what they called it she was with two groups that made some kind of decisions in the state about movies anyway so her connections I said to we had them as guests on the radio show, and I said, you know, I always wanted to be one of those guys sitting in a diner when a car comes crashing through the wall. And so it was almost, we almost had it. We were sitting in a diner. We weren't sitting together, by the way. They put us in two separate booths. And, uh, yeah, no car came crashing through, but there was a monster outside sniffing clothing or something. He wasn't really there. But I, lo I opened up the blinds so that the camera could get a good look at my face, and they kept it in the film. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, you guys went there. Um, I love watching you guys. I love watching uh, Adam also. He's, he's a great guy to watch. And 
Tim Tracker and his wife. And uh, yeah, you see, I'm kind of a nerd watching YouTube. Okay. Okay, you too. Congratulations. Happy New Year. And uh, I hope you like the painting I did. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Talk to you maybe later. <laughs> maybe not. All right. Bye. Thank you.